Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Come to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God. A God who's done everything that we needs to be done. A God who simply requires that we choose Him, that we give our hearts to Him, and that we, ser and we serve Him. Praise God for that. A word of encouragement comes from Isaiah chapter 12, beginning verse 1. In that day you will say, I will praise you, O Lord, although you are angry with me. Your anger has turned away, and you have comforted me. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. With joy you drew water from the wells of salvation. And that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord. Call on his name. Make known among the nations what he has done. And proclaim his name is exalted. Sing to the Lord, for he has done glorious things. Let this be known to all the world. Shout aloud and sing for joy, people of Zion. For great is the Holy One of Israel among you. You know, as I think about these words this morning, I think of how much our hearts should want to praise the Lord. You know, if we are serving the Lord, and I know we all kind of go through seasons of good times and seasons of harder times and maybe seasons of, of times that I don't see it alone, although God never leaves us alone, our hearts should come back to a point of praise. Think about all that God has done for us. Uh, to begin with, if we receive Jesus as our Savior, God has taken our path off of a path of death and destruction, a path that leads directly to hell, to a path of salvation, to a path of hope and help and eternity with those who have believed and gone on before. You know, we don't know what eternity is like. There, there's no doubt about it. Uh, we hear of the streets of gold and revelations and kind of the vision that John has and him trying to explain what it means uh, in, in earthly terms. But we really can't understand how great it's going to be uh, to be in heaven, to be with God for all eternity on the, you know, the new heaven and the new earth and, and, and all that's going to mean. Can you imagine, uh, and, and I think you know the Bible says this earth will be done away with, but can you imagine something even more glorious to be a part of where there's no death, uh, no destruction, uh, no you know, hurt, no pain, simply a place where we can love one another, where we can come together and, and do the things that we love to do in such a way that, that it's for all eternity. That's something right there to praise God about. If we truly believe that's going to happen, we can certainly praise God for that. Um, and on top of that, in this life, we're still part of the kingdom because Jesus ushered in the kingdom of God to earth. Uh, not that it's in its perfected form yet, we're in this side of it, but that we can still be a part of the hope and the love and the joy that comes from serving the Almighty God. Um, we serve a healing God. We serve a God who is with us, a uh, God who walks beside us. And it doesn't, God doesn't always do the things we want Him to do because, of course, His plans are taking forth. Uh, but at the same time, God has a path and a plan for us that brings joy and happiness to our lives this side of heaven. Folks, that's worthy of praise. That's worthy to, to, to give God all the praise, to, to sing out our praises to Him. I know at times it, it may seem like the, the, you know, the church or religion is an old way to go, and, and, and maybe in some respects when we say it that way, it is. But a walk with God, a relationship with God, is new and exciting. Most of us watching this uh, are maybe married, certainly in relationships, um, that type of thing. I think we would all say we, we like those things to stay fresh. We want our marriage to stay fresh and anew. We, we, we want to be excited about the person that we're with. Um, we want to, to love on them and, and have a greater love for them today than ever before. Not just kind of a get up, you know, life goes on, but actually enjoy life. That's how our relationship with God should be. And we want to give God praise for that because He does a lot of that work. Our part is simply to respond to what He's already done. We know with God that His love for us never changes. That although we can choose to go our own, all way, our own path, and that will, would make Him sad if we choose the path of death and destruction and to walk away from His salvation or to, to never accept His salvation, but that doesn't change the fact that He loves us. God's love is real. God's love is eternal. God's love is all, all there. And so we can rest in that, and we can rest in that relationship, and we can praise Him for it. Today, I hope that all this leads to you wanting to praise God for what He's done in your life. I certainly want to praise God and give Him all the glory for what it does in my life. It doesn't make my life perfect, but it does make my life enjoyable. And I look forward to what's to come, not just in heaven, but each day on earth. Praise God for that. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for your great love for us. Thank you, O oh God, for your son Jesus who came, lived among us, and taught us and died on the cross and rose again that we might have eternal life. Thank you for your Holy Spirit that now leads and guides our daily life. 
Father, all the life may not be perfect here. We give you all the praise because you walk beside us, because you guide us, because you have plans for us, because we can trust in your never unfailing love. So, Father, we praise you because you are the God of all things. Father, today we just pray that you bless those who need a special blessing, whether it's a physical, mental, emotional, even spiritual, whatever people need, Father, would you bless them according to your will and may that bring you glory. Father, we just ask for all these things in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. There you have it. God loves you. I hope your heart is filled with praise today. Go out and have a great day and share what God has done for you. And we'll see you tomorrow. God bless.